Hello and welcome to another Guns for Less review. This is your host, 45 Auto All Day, and today we're taking a look at a newer release, the Walther PPS M2 with factory installed Hollow Sun 507K X2. Let's take a look. This is my first experience with a single stack Walther, and so far I've put about 300 rounds through it, and I really like it. Let's take a closer look at the gun, going from mag to muzzle. Included with the gun are two magazines from the factory, a six round flush fitting mag and a seven round extended. You also have the option of buying an eight round extended magazine. In this area, I have nicknamed the gun Skittles because you have all the flavors of the rainbow to choose from. The six round mag seats completely flush and gives the smallest footprint for concealed carry. The seven rounder adds a little more grip for your pinky and just barely fits into my double XL hands. While the eight rounder fits me absolutely perfect with a little room to spare, but obviously adds the largest footprint in a concealed carry roll. The grip on the gun is a mixed bag for me. The added finger grooves are sure to ruffle some feathers just like the Glock Gen 4 line. However, they're perfect for me. They help keep the gun stay seated firmly in my hand through the course of fire. No thanks to the texture, that is. The texture itself is not great. It looks just like sickle cell anemia. No, really, it does. It just doesn't do much in terms of grippiness. I guess if I'm being a glass half full kind of guy, at least there's two positives out of that. One, it's not very abrasive against your skin if you're carrying, and two, it's a pretty simple fix just get it stippled. Moving on to the trigger, it's nothing to write home about. It's a 6.5 pound factory trigger that I've heard gets better as you shoot it, so let's hope that plays out. It's not terrible, and it's still produced pretty decent groupings at various distances. It's definitely functional, but like anything, you've got to use it and get to know it. The gun itself feels really solid. It has a great slide to frame fit and lockup. Probably helps that it has a full length inner slide rail as compared to its Austrian counterpart, Sehr Schlecht. Recoil is short and smooth, no doubt thanks to its captured dual recoil spring guide rod. It definitely helps mitigate that felt recoil. Front and rear slide serrations are facing forward, which to me just makes more sense than shallow neutral slide serrations. The sights are nothing special. They don't even really co-witness with the hollow sun, but they're easily swapped out with a wide variety of replacements. The red dot factory installed on the gun, the hollow sun 507 is the first hollow sun I've owned and I'm really impressed. Uh, the buttons, the battery, the witness marks on the screws from the factory, uh, everything came really nice. It should be said that I didn't have to touch a single adjustment screw. This came absolutely perfectly sighted from the factory. The price point on this Walther is really unbeatable. At under $800, you get a well-rounded, well-built, and highly accurate handgun with a very advanced red dot. During our course of shooting, we put an additional 120 rounds through this, bringing our total close to 300. There's no issues whatsoever. However, in many times during shooting, I noticed that I was riding the slide stop and prevented the slide from locking open on empty. My cameraman shot it too and noticed the same thing. We concluded that it's mainly a training issue for those that get a high thumbs forward grip on the gun like we do. It's not a deal breaker, but definitely is a workaround. All in all, everyone that's shot the gun really likes it and would agree that all the pros outweigh the biggest con, which is its relatively low capacity at eight plus one maximum capacity. Well, we hope you've enjoyed this review. For more gun and gear related content, don't forget to check us out on Instagram at Guns for Less and 45 Auto All Day. Remember to stay safe, stay smart, and stay frosty.